Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we are looking at one of the most important videos I'll ever have to create and that is explaining what the difference is between reply and reply all when it comes to emailing. This is a common phenomenon that happens in all businesses today but people don't understand the difference. So let's take an example. Let's say I want to buy coffee for all of my friends at work. I've got some coffee that I want to get to them and I ask what coffee does each person want because they all want different types of coffee. I will send a message to all of them and say, hey, what coffee do you want me to get you? And Mr. Blue over there is thinking, hmm, I would love a latte with a shot of vanilla. And so what Mr. Blue does is he goes to Miss Yellow and says, hey, I want a latte with a shot of vanilla. And then he goes to Miss Purple and says, hey, I want a latte with a shot of vanilla. And he goes to Mr. Green and says, hey, I want a latte with a shot of vanilla. And he goes to Miss Red and says, I want a latte with a shot of vanilla. And he goes to Mr. Orange and says, ha, huh, I want a latte with a shot of vanilla. And then he goes to me and says, ha, huh, I want a latte with a shot of vanilla. I don't know about you, but everyone else is confused. Why did you tell us that? We didn't need to know that. We don't know what you want. We want the coffee that we want. Why are you telling us what coffee you want? We're not getting you coffee. Mr. Long's getting you coffee. They are very confused. So what should have happened is Mr. Blue should have just gone straight to me and said, hey, I want a latte with a shot of vanilla. And that would have not confused everyone and given everyone else extra information. So in the computer world, this often happens when we send an email. So when I send an email to everyone about, hey, I'm going to get coffee. What coffee would you like? If you think, I want a latte with a shot of vanilla, sending that information to everyone is not actually useful because they don't need that information. So you've always got to ask yourself, does everyone need the information I'm about to give? And in this case, the answer is no. The only person who needs that information is the person getting the coffee, which is me. So you just send the information to Mr. Long and say, hey, I want a latte with a shot of vanilla. That is the correct way to reply in this case. So when you're on your computer and you get that message from Mr. Long saying, hey, what coffee do you want? The key here at the bottom, you'll notice these options for reply, reply all and forward. If you're using a program, you might see them at the top like that with the same options there. So which option do we use? Well, you might be tempted to reply all, but not everyone needs to know that information. It is best in this case to click on the reply button. That is the correct option for this case. And when you go to your reply email, you'll notice that you're sending it just to the person who sent it to you. Now let's take another scenario. Let's say I had a pizza party and I've got three pizzas left over, an Hawaiian pizza, a pepperoni pizza, and a barbecue chicken pizza. And I want to ask my friends, hey, who wants one of these pizzas? There are only three of them left. So quickly, grab them now. I will send an email to all of them. Say, hey, do you want one of the pizzas? Now in this case, Mr. Blue says, oh, I really want that pepperoni pizza. So sending a message to everyone in this case might be beneficial because does everyone need the information I'm about to give? If I tell them I'm taking the pepperoni pizza, then they all know that that pizza has been taken. So in this case, this would be a good scenario when you would want everyone to know so that they don't say, I want the pepperoni after it's already been taken. So in this case, when you send out an email, you would click, hey, I want to click on that reply all option because everyone needs to know that I'm taking that pepperoni pizza. So when you get the reply, you'll notice that everyone's included and this is the correct scenario for a reply all. Now when you are on a mobile device, something to take note of when you are using emails on a browser, for example, because of limited space, they sometimes only give you one option at the bottom. And so the default option might be reply all. So that's why you might be replying to everyone instead of replying to the right person. So click on that little arrow there and make sure that you select one of the correct options, whether it's the reply or the reply all option. The basic rule is, does everyone need the information I'm about to give? And if the answer is yes, then use the reply all option. But if the answer is no, then rather click on that reply button. And let's also be sensitive. Sometimes people make a mistake every now and again. And if it's once off, it's just a little whoopsie. Let's be kind to them. So hopefully you now know the difference between reply and reply all. Regards, Mr. Long. If you want other technology tips for you in your workplace, make sure you click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment about what videos you would like us to cover. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.